continue to worship. But before we do, man, I just want us to just, just think about the art of corporate worship, that we are uniting with one voice. You understand that corporate worship uh, tends to sometimes be uh, divisive because we have our own preferences, right? But do you realize that it is actually given by the Lord as a gift to unite us? And when done properly, when done right, um, actually, Paul would say in Colossians 3, he would say um, that since we have been risen with Christ who sits on high on the throne, let us fix our eyes to the things that are above, not below. Do you understand what he's saying is, is that we're to fix our eyes on the things of heaven. And so as we worship, we should be fixing our eyes on the thing, things of heaven. In the Bible, it tells us what worship is gonna be like in heaven. Do you know how it's described? In Revelations 19, John, he would, he would tell us that worship is gonna sound like a great multitude. He then would even say that it's like a thunderous, like peals of thunder. Then he's just struggling to even make that do justice to what the sound of worship is gonna be like in heaven. And he says, he says, it is going to be this thunderous, loud, heard noise. And so what is the difference between worship here and worship in heaven? Well, while we're here, we have, yes, we do have sin that separates us for those of us. But we also have physical limitations that we're not gonna have those, like, like I can only sing so high and so loud and, and I, even as I age, my voice you know, slowly goes away but all those things will be peeled away. The other thing that is the biggest difference too is we will stand before the king. We will stand before him, we will see him, and we will have nothing else to do but to worship and praise him. But I want you to know that that can happen here today. Like we don't have to wait until we get to heaven to have the sound of heaven here. As we worship as a church, we could, we could give, a, give ourselves a foretaste of what heaven's gonna be like, what worship in heaven is going to look like, it can look like today. It's how Jesus, as he prays, he says, on earth as it is in heaven. And so as we continue to worship, I want us to remind ourselves of that truth. And I want us to just lean into that. Listen, if you are someone that says, I don't care for the music, it's okay. It's, I'm, my feelings are not hurt but I want you to know that we serve a king and we worship a king that is worthy of praise beyond any preference we may have when we enter the room. And so I want us to lean into this next song together as a corporate church, united with one voice on earth as it is in heaven.
Join the resurrection and stand beside the heroes of the faith. And with one voice, a thousand generations. What are they singing? The same word.
song in us. So let's do this. Let's raise a hallelujah in the presence of the enemy. Let's sing this together. And I'll raise a hallelujah. Come on. In the presence of my enemy. And I'll raise a hallelujah. And I'll Bye. 
first week at the movies, right? Isn't it always the sweetest, the way that the gospel is woven in to a movie? I love it. I love being a part of it. I love um, witnessing it. It's amazing. I just have a few announcements, so you're good to stay standing. We have two connection opportunities coming up that we for sure want you to be a part of. Next Thursday night is another at the movies. And afterwards, we're gonna have an ice cream social in the portico. So it is a great time to invite friends and family for all of us to be together in the portico after service. That's next Thursday, July 7th. Just three days later on Sunday, July 10th, we are going to be as a church, we're gonna be on the big, I think it's called the Big Four Bridge Lawn downtown. We are going to be loving on the city. We are gonna have an opportunity to encourage our community partnerships. We're gonna have an opportunity to fellowship with one another and to be a presence in the city. And so mark that down. It's from three to five on Sunday, July 10th at the Big Four Bridge Lawn. Also, if you are a first or second time guest, we have a gift for you at the Connection Center that's in the atrium. Y'all will want to stop by. It has nerds, like it's awesome. And there's popcorn, one of my favorites. It has a journal in there. This also has a letter from our campus pastor that you'll want to read and be encouraged. So this bag is for those of you who are first or second time visitors. We want to encourage you. We want to know you. So that is at the connection desk. The last announcement that I have is y'all know you got a little bit of trash. Why don't you grab that and on your way out, dispose of that. But y'all have the sweetest week. <laughs>